everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have just been getting ready this morning as you would have seen. I've just been doing my everyday makeup which is honestly the most super simple easy makeup to do. It takes me maximum maybe 10-15 minutes in the morning. I feel like I'm the kind of person that I just do not have time to spend like half an hour 45 minutes on my makeup. I like it to be quite light. I like it to be quite glowy but a little bit a little bit not flawless i don't expect perfection i feel like to be fair actually my skin is looking quite good at the moment i've been really really working hard with my skincare and just making sure that i'm doing all of the right things to just kind of like maintain it stop any breakouts i always find that like whenever i do have a kind of like surge of breakouts i can always link it back to either being a little bit slack with my skincare um a little bit too like decadent foods that i'm eating or in London a lot wearing a lot of makeup and I just noticed like the congestion can really sit on my skin and cause the breakout so I've just been really really trying because obviously I am in London a lot more at the moment I feel like my vlogs at the moment are either at home or in London or at home or in London but that's kind of my life at the moment and probably will be for the next couple of months although I say that I do have some really fun things planned in like November December time um around the area i know i spoke in a recent vlog about the fact that a lot of people maybe don't know that i am in hampshire now and i feel like i do really want to make more of an effort to show the beauties of hampshire show what there is around like what i'm doing in my own county because i absolutely love living in hampshire it's just my favorite thing in the world but that was an absolute ramble this morning i do apologize i've just had my morning coffee and clearly i've got a lot of energy to get out i am not actually going to be doing a slick back bun look today i know i've been doing them a lot recently because i have been really really enjoying just how easy they are to do just how kind of like simple it is like i really really love being able to just pull my hair back and like especially i find that if you've got quite a nice makeup look on like i do find whenever i have a slick back bun look i need to do a liner because i feel like if i don't do a liner my face feels too round and i know that's gonna sound really silly but i like to make sure that my makeup is pulling my face up and then my hair is kind of like helping with that like cooperating with that kind of like look so it's just very like uplifting and flattering so i would definitely recommend doing a bit of a slick back bun look and also if you are going to do it i would also recommend investing in a comb i find that using a brush is not always the best thing sometimes using a brush can make your hair look a little bit greasy as you've scraped it back so i've been using a comb this is one from silky it's just a really cute one so i find it's much better just to kind of like pull your hair back and make sure there's no flyaways and stuff so yes and speaking of hair I have some things to unbox with you today, which is really, really exciting. I actually kind of realized recently that I maybe am in need of upgrading some of my hair products, my hair tools. And there is one brand that you guys know I'm very, very loyal to. And I absolutely love their hair tools. And that is GHD. I absolutely adore GHD. I've used their products since I was about 15. I remember actually, maybe I was even younger. I think maybe I was about 14. My sister and I saved up. We used to do... I did paper round, she had a weekend job because she was over 16 at the time and we literally saved up our money for weeks and both went split C's on a GHD straightener and we used that straightener literally every single day until she went off to uni and I had to buy her out because I was not letting her take that straightener away with her to university. Um, so yeah, I've used the GH GHD straighteners for ever it will be over 10 years at this point which is absolutely mad and they really are my favorite favorite straighteners and i do have a platinum plus that i've been using every single day for maybe the past two three years and i feel like it's just getting to the point where it's a little bit tired it's a little bit grubby let me get it out actually to show you okay so i got the white one last time and i think maybe that was part of the mistake that i made because it is looking rather grubby i feel like it's not even coming up on camera how grubby it's got and i'm not entirely sure what it's from whether it's like fake tan on my hands whether it's like the hair products and stuff like that the heat but i don't know if you can see yeah it just is looking really really grubby at this point and it just definitely needs to be replaced so i've decided to, to replace it with a new platinum plus straightener because they are just my favorite so this time i have gone for the black and i just absolutely adore how sleek these are how they just look so professional and they are such gorgeous hair straighteners i do find personally i think they are just the best hair straighteners i have ever ever used they heat up within seconds which is just amazing and one thing i really like about these they turn themselves off you know the fear when you've left the house and you're about an hour away from home and you suddenly think did i turn my hair straighteners off 
these turn themselves off after I think it's maybe half an hour to an hour um, so you don't run the risk of if you've forgotten to turn them off you just know they'll have turned themselves off by themselves but yeah I just absolutely adore how sleek and slick and stylish they are they really oh, are just the best hair straighteners and I know it's a little bit early to talk about but these are definitely something that I would recommend looking into for like Christmas gifts if any boyfriends are watching in the background. I know that your girlfriend would love a GHD straightener if she doesn't have one already or you can replace the one she already has with just like a little bit of an upgrade because they are so fab and I would definitely recommend around Black Friday time looking out obviously when it comes to Black Friday I will be your Cyber Week pixie as normal and we can chat about more. We can chat about that more a little bit closer to the time, but these usually have great discounts. Like GHD do really, really great discounts around Cyber Week. So I picked up a new straightener. I also have a couple of other things to show you from GHD. And I wanted to try a couple of different products from them. So first of all, we've got the Curve Creative Curl Wand. Now I've never tried the GHD curling wands before, but I've heard really, really good things. And actually recently I've switched with the way that I've been doing my curls again. I was really addicted to doing my curls with like the straightener route. And I do love that because it's a very like, blow dried look like it looks very you know like chic and you know off your face but I do find that I really love the wave that you get from a curler I feel like it's a bit more of like a beachy undone wave and I think it's so so beautiful so let me show you this one I think this is such a lovely oh it also comes with a brush oh I didn't realize how cute is this oh this would be an amazing gift I will link this one down below if you know someone that is in need of a curler if they really like doing like a curling wand curl with their hair like those beachy waves anything a bit more like loose and undone and styled I really really love this I think that's so so gorgeous and the fact that it comes with a brush is really really lovely so this is one without a clip without any lumps or bumps so it's like a really really easy one to use I do find that if you're someone who's maybe new when it comes to styling your hair these kinds of curling ones are great to start with so I will link that down below and then the last one that I picked up is the curve wand this is the classic wave long lasting undone waves now this is a little bit different and this is something I've not actually used before when it comes to hair straighteners this is more of a flat wand I don't know if you'll be able to see it so I've never really tried this before this is going to be much more of like a loose wavy curl rather than something like really tight and ringlety obviously the other one is much more of like a round barrel so it's going to give you those really nice like ringlet curls this is much more of like a flat waver kind of style which I thought was really really cool so I want to kind of test this out this morning and give a bit of a go because I think this might look really nice and I do find that with short hair those loose undone waves are just so so flattering so I wanted to treat myself to some new hair products went a little bit ham on GHD but I really do just absolutely adore their products. So I'll link these down below if you are looking for some new stylers. And of course, I will chat closer to the time when it comes to like Black Friday, any kind of savings that they might be offering. I usually know a little bit in advance. So if you're not already signed up to my newsletter, I would say that's the best place to go when it comes to like pre-Black Friday things. I will be linking everything up there. I will be letting you know as much as I can as far in advance as I am allowed to. So I will leave my newsletter down below if you want to sign up for it. And I do just do like a little weekly, roundup I call it the petite news once a week every Friday it goes live with like the best discounts things I've been shopping what I've been looking at so make sure to sign up to that below but I think I'm gonna unbox this get this out and do a little bit of a test because I really want to try this and see how it works with my hair because I've never ever tried anything like this before so I'm really excited <music> on the curls I really like them I feel like for a first attempt I am really really impressed with them 
This curler is definitely a lot different to any other curlers I have used. Number one, it is a lot hotter than my old hair curler. My old one was not a GHD one and I didn't find that it was the best. This is a lot hotter, which is great because it means that I don't have to hold my hair on the curler for as long. So I definitely think the curls take less time. However, it does mean that it's obviously you're gonna have to get used to the heat. So what I usually do is I curl the hair and then I kind of hold the curl in my hand. Now, if you are someone who is not used to curlers, you're not very used to using a lot of heat, all of the GHD products do actually come with a glove, um, which is really handy. I personally don't really like to use it because I find it a little bit, um, like I just find I feel like it gets in the way, but look, it's so funny. It's got a little, a little glove so that you can like hold I don't really know why they've left these fingers out but it means that you can hold your hair it means you're not going to burn your hand as easily because obviously your thumb and your first finger are like the most honestly look at that that's so funny <laughs> um so yes so all of the products come with a glove which is great um, but I really like the fact that it's like more flat I feel like the curls aren't as ringlety as I often find that they are I don't like them to be too ringlety I don't like them to be too like uniform I think I might try next time doing one forward one back I think that might be really nice I might need to work on this a little bit because I feel like that's looking a little bit kinky but other than that I'm really really impressed and I've just brushed them through again when I say brush them I've combed them through do not use a brush like a flat panel or anything like that don't use that once you've done your hair if you are going to comb it through use a comb or better yet use your fingers I find that my fingers work really really well you literally just want to like tease out the curls a little bit and just kind of loosen it up um and one thing that I also ordered I forgot to use I'm not entirely sure if this is a product you use before or after is the curly ever after curl hold spray and it says that it creates a long lasting bouncy curl with your styler, curling wands or tongs, suitable for all hair types, use on dry hair only, spritz one to two sprays evenly to each section of hair on mid lengths and ends, working product in with fingers before, oh before heat styling, okay I will make sure to use this next time. I thought I might be able to use it as more of a hairspray afterwards, but I will use this next time and see how that kind of like affects the curls. Cause I do find I usually leave them like in their ringlets for a little while and then I'll kind of comb them out after maybe 15, 20 minutes. So this is kind of still fresh. It's still a little bit bouncy. It will obviously drop throughout the day, but for a first attempt, I'm really, really impressed. I have a feeling that this might become my go-to hairstyle because it was super quick. Like even though it took me a little bit longer than maybe if I was like to straighten my hair, I am obviously new with this and I feel like this is gonna be the kind of hairstyle well, once I get used to it, I can literally spend 10 minutes. And I also feel like it's such a thick wand, you can really use a lot of hair and I have a lot of hair. I really don't like products where you need really small sections of hair because it takes me hours to do like literally hours i really like ones where you can just grab a really big section give it a curl and it holds really really nicely so i will link all of the products that i picked up down below if you do want to shop them but yeah a new little hairstyle for a new season very very happy <laughs> Right, I am dressed and ready for the day wearing one of my favorite, favorite jumper dresses of all time. This is a little new look number. It's part of the Kate Hutchins collection at New Look and it is just the coziest, comfiest thing ever. And it's under 30 pounds and I will definitely say I've already gotten my cost per wear out of it. I'm sure you guys are so bored of seeing the same dresses over and over again in these videos but it really just goes to show how much cost per wear I get out of them how versatile they are how wearable they are and I really really love them so I'll link this down below but I've just actually realized that as this video will be going up it's the 30th of October so happy Halloween Eve to you guys. I'm sure you probably would have already done it most of your celebrating this weekend if you are someone that celebrates Halloween. I'm not really the biggest Halloween person. I'm definitely more of like an autumn person. You're like autumn harvests and all the cozy vibes. I absolutely love that. But let me know how you have been spending your Halloween weekend. It's funny actually, I was talking to Alex about it the other day and just about like what we used to do as kids and I have actually never been trick or treating in my life which he finds so bizarre because obviously he went every single year and I know it's obviously a big thing to a lot of people but what we actually did in my family is my mum hosted Halloween parties I've got lots of family loads of people that were like my age like cousins and friends and things like that so my mum used to host Halloween parties and the reason why I have brought that up is because we are actually heading this weekend it is currently my niece's seventh birthday so we're heading up to spend the weekend with them and I think we're going to do kind of a bit of a 
birthday Halloween party for her. So we were just talking about like Halloween traditions and it's so funny because these are the things that I spent my childhood doing every single Halloween, things like apple bobbing. Um, there's another one where you like hold the fork in your mouth, you stand on a little stool, hold a fork in your mouth and try and drop it onto an apple and then that apple you get to eat. Obviously there's things like wrap the mummy. Um, what else did we used to do? Oh, we had so, so many. My mum was such a good sport. I do remember actually every Halloween helping her out and she would literally line the entire floor of her house with black bin liners because it just got so messy obviously like apple bobbing it's all splashing everywhere kids are wearing face paint like everything was covered in black bin liners to try and make sure that she didn't ruin her carpet ruin her furniture and i look back and think what a good sport she was so yeah we're going to be playing a few of those games this weekend i think so let me know how you spent your halloween halloween weekend did you go to any parties do you have kids do you spend it trick-or-treating with them or did you just sit in and watch a cozy movie i would love to no, because I feel like it's one of those where everyone just does something completely different and whatever is best for them. So I know it's technically tomorrow, but I'm sure a lot of you would have been doing stuff this weekend. Can you believe we are already so close to November? I am so, so excited. I feel like November is going to be a really, a really big month. And I've already started speaking about a Black Friday, but I've started making a lot of my Black Friday plans already. So make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter so that you don't miss out on anything there because that will be where all of the Black Friday info goes up. And but of course I will be doing videos here as well. So as you can tell, I'm very, very excited for the season ahead but I've got lots to crack on with for today. I've got a couple of meetings, I've got some new things that I want to show you so I'm going to stop rambling and let's get going. So as I mentioned I have a few new pieces to show you. Now seeing as though we are hurtling towards the winter months at what feels like a lightning speed I felt like I needed to update my wardrobe with a few really like classic basic items for cold weather styling for like this winter kind of more autumnal to winter period which I feel like is when the weather starts to get a lot colder. It's a little bit more unpredictable and these are a few items that I saw on coast that I just thought were perfect for the months ahead, the kind of thing that you're going to get a lot of wear out of over the next couple months. So I thought I would show you what I've been picking up. Now, first up, I wanted to show you something that I feel like is just a classic in anyone's wardrobe, whether that's autumn, winter, spring, is a trench coat. And I always get questions about more affordable high street trench coats. Obviously you guys know how much I adore my Burberry and I get so much wear out of that every single season. But I'm very aware that a lot of you guys are looking for more affordable high street alternatives. And when I saw this one on Coast, I just had to snap it up and show you because it is absolutely beautiful. My favorite thing about this coat is the back look at that pleating that is just absolutely stunning i have never seen it anything like this but it just makes the trench coat so feminine so gorgeous and it just really adds a little bit of detail to what is otherwise quite a like boring coat let's be honest as much as i love a trench coat it's very straight up straight down there's not a lot of design details going on with it but this coat looks so much more expensive than it actually is i don't remember i will link it down below i cannot remember the exact price but i remember it was a very affordable version but look at that button detail like i just adore these tortoise shell buttons the fact that it's double breasted the fact that you've got the kind of like waist before you've got the pleating and it does come round to the front ever so slightly and the the double lapel I just think is so so gorgeous like honestly so many design details about this coat that makes it look a lot more expensive and what I really like about this is I feel like it's the perfect bad weather coat I always wear my trench coats when it is bad weather especially if I'm like going into London I still want to look really smart I still want to be you know meeting appropriate wearing my work wear but I know it's going to be raining I'll bring a trench coat and an umbrella and they are the perfect thing for rainy days so I feel like this is perfect to pick up now if you are wanting to get this for winter I would definitely say to size up a size just so that you can layer up underneath you can wear your really chunky knits your thick knitwear and then you can be really snugly warm obviously this isn't the warmest coat in the world it doesn't provide the biggest layer of warmth but it is so perfect for just that over top piece that finishing item for when the weather is quite bad and let's be honest in the UK in November, December, the weather can often be 
quite bad so I thought this was just such a perfect one. I'm so excited to finally bring you guys one of the best high street trenches I think I've ever ever seen. I know you are going to want to snap this up. Oh my goodness me. I feel like you couldn't quite see the full beauty of the coat as I was holding it up but you really can see it now. I mean just look at those pleats. They are absolutely stunning and they run all the way around the back which I absolutely adore. I love the fact that you can see them coming around to the front as well. I've just cinched it in at the waist and it just gives the most beautiful silhouette. Love the button details. As I said just so many details to this trench that make it look so much more expensive than it actually is. I love it to pieces so I would definitely recommend picking this up for the autumn and winter months I think this would also be a beautiful one to be able to style up next spring you could wear it with much more like spring tones lots of whites bright colors but then for now I feel like these tonals the blacks the browns would just look absolutely gorgeous so so glad that I picked this up what a stunning stunning trench next i picked up a couple of pieces that i speak about a lot when it comes to autumn winter layering now when it comes to layering we've got the classic ways to layer and add a bit of extra warmth you've got your scarves your jumpers your coats but one thing that i feel like a lot of people forget about but is actually one of the best ways to keep you warm was one of the best ways to layer up without detracting from your outfit is to layer underneath and i do that with these really classic timeless roll neck kind of tank tops they are so fab to add into your wardrobe you will not regret adding these in because they are just so so practical while still looking beautiful you probably would have already seen on my instagram me styling these kind of tops up i have a couple from coast from a few years ago so i thought it was about time that i updated them in my wardrobe because i've gotten so much wear out of them but anytime that you just see a little black roll neck poking out from maybe my ralphie jumpers any kind of like cable knits or chunky knits or even if I'm wearing something that's a bit more of a natural fiber like wool or alpaca, I'm quite sensitive so I don't always like it next to my skin. This is a great way to make sure that you can still wear those really warm, comfy clothes without getting too itchy. So it's literally the most simple little turtleneck. It's like a ribbed fabric. As you can see, it's not overly thick and I've got the sleeveless one here and it is such a great way of adding that extra layer of warmth. I always find that as long as your body is warm, the rest of you is fine. I find that my arms are always like the last thing that I need to be kind of like layering up my body is the one thing I need to focus on so as long as my torso and my body is warm that's all that matters so these are such classic ones to pick up so obviously I picked it up in black because I feel like you can't go wrong with black and I really really like that little poke that you get from the like black roll neck especially with those lighter tones like camels creams whites I think it looks really really gorgeous so just to show you what the roll neck looks like on by itself, I mean you can literally wear this as a piece by itself, it's not specifically designed to be like you know under <laughs> garments or anything like that but that is just what I usually prefer to wear it as but it is still beautiful on its own, I love the sleeveless um, kind of shape to it, I feel like it's really super flattering if you've not got broad shoulders like me, it makes them a little bit broader, makes them a little bit more, I don't know, I just really really like how it looks, so as you can see it is quite thin but it's not see through at all. Oh, I've just got nude underwear on underneath and I really love these roll necks because they're not too high they're not too like suffocating but they just keep you nice and it's snugly warm so I really really like these basics I think they're just so perfect for the autumn winter months the kind of thing that you can wear in so many different ways you can get so much wear out of and a really really great investment for the cold air season. And then I also picked it up in cream because I feel like you need one of each colour depending on what you're wearing what you're styling up how visible you want it to be underneath the outfit now this online says cream I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but it's actually more of like a champagne colour it is beautiful like a lot prettier than I was expecting it's a really gorgeous like shimmery tone to it again it's just this really thin ribbed knit which is just so great to put underneath clothes what I like about this one as well this one's a little bit more subtle I find that it doesn't kind of show as much underneath your outfits again we've gone for the sleeveless because I just need to keep my body warm but I would definitely recommend picking up one in each color so that you have all your bases covered and you have the perfect layering piece for underneath your winter items and here we have the champagne toned one now obviously this one is a lot more see-through you can kind of completely see 
my bra underneath. I'm just wearing my very unflattering, but very comfy M&S bras. They're kind of like a sloggy bra, like a really lovely, um, seamless, wire-free. I will link them down below. If you do want to shop them, so I would not wear this one by itself, but it's so perfect as an underpiece. And as you can see, the roll neck is just, it's almost like skin tone. So it's really, really subtle to wear as a layering piece under other items. I absolutely love it. I love the ribbed detail to it as well. So yeah, definitely recommend picking these up, but just be warned, they are rather secret. It wouldn't be a petite Ellie haul if there wasn't similar items in different colors or in different variations, because I feel like once you know that something works, you want to add it into your wardrobe in all of the different variations that you can get. So I also saw that they did a long sleeve version of this and what I quite liked about this is I feel like this could either be worn as a layering item as kind of like a vest for underneath or this could be just worn as a roll neck by itself I love the color of it. it's just so beautiful it's like champagne color this is going to style up so well with so many tones in my wardrobe any kind of like browns tonal looks even black it would look really really beautiful with and I feel like you just can't go wrong with a basic roll neck they're so classic so timeless you guys know I wear them all the time when the weather starts to turn I kind of wish I'd also picked this up in black. I only got the cream version of this, but I might go back online and pick up the black as well because a black roll neck is just the most classic thing you can have in your wardrobe for cold weather. It really is the kind of thing you're going to get so much cost per wear out of and you're going to bring out of your wardrobe every single year. And then of course we have the long sleeved one. Now I know I said that this could be worn by itself but I think I would definitely have to revisit my underwear choice. I can't believe that I'm literally standing here with pretty much my entire bra on show but you know here we are. <laughs> nothing that nobody has seen it before but honestly it's just such a gorgeous tone i really love how fitted these are i've gone for a 12 in all of them just because i like them to be not too skin tight and they're just really nice and fitted really tight against your body but not too like not too thick or anything they just literally feel like a second skin i feel like it's the best way to describe these so yeah i think i'm definitely gonna have to pick up the black version of this as well because i think that's going to be an absolute staple for autumn winter so if you are looking for some new thermals new layering pieces basic items to add into your cold weather wardrobe these are the ones for you and then the final item i picked up is something that i feel like has been missing from my autumn winter wardrobe i've not actually ever owned something like this and that is a leather coat now i've definitely kind of like refined my style a lot this year and really honed in on what kind of coats i like to wear and i feel like i've got quite a specific criteria of what i like at the moment i really like long line coats full length coats i like them to have a belt i really like a collar and I feel like this just ticks all of those boxes it's like a trench style with the fact that it's got the double lapels and the like four buttons I really like the fact that the buttons just blend in with the coat like you can barely see them I really like that design detail I think it makes it look a lot more expensive than it is love the fact that it comes with a belt as well because you can really cinch it in and the color is really interesting I feel like it's really difficult to describe I think online it was called like taupe or something it, oh it's just called off white and yeah that is kind of how i would describe it but it's almost like a stony grayish kind of tone i feel like this is the kind of coat that depending on what you styled with it would completely depend on the tone of it like because i'm wearing quite a cool tone now this is looking very great very cool tone but i feel like if i was to wear it with warmer colors maybe browns creams you could definitely make this a little bit warmer so i think this is a coat that i'm going to get a lot of wear out of again it'll be great on rainy days if i need something a little bit thicker a little bit more substantial and it still looks really professional, really dressed up, really classic and really, really beautiful. So I think this is another coat that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of and it's going to be the perfect addition into my autumn winter wardrobe. And last but not least, the gorgeous leather coat. I mean, look at this. I think it is a faux leather just to let you know, but oh my goodness, it's stunning. I will link it down below so you guys can have a look and check yourself. It really is so green toned right now, but I do think you could warm it up with different tones, different textures. I absolutely adore it because it is leather i do find the belt is a little bit slippery so i have had to double knot it um because if you do that it will undo itself but i really like it open as well i think it's just absolutely beautiful a lovely meeting coat a lovely smart kind of business coat oh this is absolutely stunning such a gorgeous addition into my autumn winter wardrobe oh my goodness me i've just come into this room and look at the wintry light that is hitting it this is so so gorgeous i really love having a south facing house because you just get the most beautiful light and as you can see i've had 
a new delivery of some beauty goodies that I thought I would unbox with you because you guys know how much I'm adoring Liz L at the moment. Their products are just some of my favourites. So I thought I would show you what I've got. So I thought I would show you what's in the goodie bag, seeing as though we've been talking a lot about kind of winter beauty changes, obviously new hair. In terms of the curls, how they've lasted, I do feel like I need a little bit more practice. And I think maybe if I had used that curl hold spray, they would have held a little bit better. They've definitely gotten a lot looser and wavier, which I do quite like, but I think I just need maybe a little bit more practice with the curler itself. But um, anyway, inside this bag, they actually very kindly sent this over as a little PR gift after seeing how much I'm adoring the products from Lizelle. Oh, we have some really, really gorgeous pieces in here. So I'm going to start with a top up of my current favourite. This is something I've spoken about quite a lot because I feel like it's just changed the game for me with regards to my breakouts, my skin texture, like how it's looking at the moment, the Instant Boost Skin Tonic. And I am using this after I double cleanse at the moment. So I use the Lizelle cleanse and polish I really really love that and then afterwards I will use this and I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have found that I still have residue on my skin it still is a little bit grimy and it still has like things coming off with the toner so I just use a reusable cotton pads and this and it's made such a big difference I feel like maybe the vast majority of my breakouts were basically from the fact that my skin wasn't fully clean which is really gross to think about I can't believe I was doing that to myself but honestly it's such an amazing product I really really love this and it's great if you've got sense skin as well i've tried some toners in the past that have given me a little bit of like a tingly sensation they've made me a little bit like uncomfortable they've been a bit too drying this is fab so a lovely top up of that we then have a top up of the cleanse and polish which is just a firm favorite of mine i absolutely adore this this is the starter kit so it comes with the cloth i believe um yeah, it comes with the cloth inside. These are great as well because it's like a perfect travel size. So whenever I go away on holiday, I always bring these with me. I use a few different cleansers depending on like what my skin needs that night, what I'm using. But this is something that I will always bring away with me on holiday because I have made the mistake of bringing away a cleanser that I maybe received that was just like a mini version that I've never used before that I haven't really tested out with my skin and it's not ended well. So I always bring this with me on holiday because it is the perfect size it is exactly 100 millimeters so you could even take this in your um like cabin bag couldn't think of the word then we then have a new moisturizer and i'm so excited about this because i recently finished my other lizard moisturizer i can't believe really the name of it but this is the skin repair light cream for 72 hours of balanced hydration it's got barrage and avocado oils hops and echinacea and i really love echinacea i find it a very like healing property so this looks really similar to the one that I have just finished so I'm very excited to give that a go I really love the Lizelle creams because I find that they're not too heavy they're not too thick but they're really really moisturizing and just a drink for your skin I absolutely adore them we then have a product from the super skin range now I really really love the super skin range from Lizelle they have some really great products the moisturizer I'm using at the moment actually is from the super skin and I find it's a little bit more just very like natural very kind of like earthy kind of smells it's almost like back to nature with regards to your skincare and this is a super skin ALT retinol booster it's a natural alternative to retinol apparently it targets the appearance of lines and wrinkles for more youthful looking skin it's got stavia and elderberry extracts i'm really excited about that so it's just in this little little i want to smell it because i think it's gonna smell amazing oh that's like really lovely and natural and just very like almost herbal i love 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 the sound of that i have spoken about this a lot i do like retinol but i do find that as someone with sensitive skin sometimes it can be a little bit too much and a little bit harsh so it's great to find other alternatives so if i am finding the retinol that i'm using is too much i can kind of take a step back with that and use the alternative ones that i've got in my collection we then have two products here and i have, don't know what range these are from i think it must be some kind of balancing harmonizing range because the packaging is very different from the other packaging so we first of all got the balancing botanical drops this visibly reduces blemishes pores and shine that sounds absolutely amazing so these lightweight gel drops reduce the appearance of blemishes pores and shine so skin it feels clean and balanced perfect for oily blemish prone skin with scarred sacred and egyptian lotus to visibly mattify 
So basically if you're one of those people that you're just constantly really, really shiny and you can't seem to like beat that, that sounds amazing. And then we have the calming botanical drops. These even skin tone and reduce the feeling of sensitivity. This sounds right on my streaks. I have very, very sensitive skin. Whenever I try products that are a little bit too harsh, I do get flare outs, flare outs? flare ups and breakouts and you guys will know that whenever I like do my skincare and things like that with you literally the second I rub my hand on my face it goes really red and really sore so this says that these lightweight gel drops reduce the feeling of sensitivity so skin it feels soothed they're perfect for stressed skin that's prone to redness with giant hyssop to even the appearance of skin tone and British silver birch to calm and protect against dryness this sounds like my winter savior, so I cannot wait to try this. Oh, that's so, so exciting. So a lovely, lovely delivery from Liz Earl. Thank you so much to the team for sending this over for these lovely top-ups. I feel very, very grateful, and I cannot wait to have a bit of a pamper tonight. Well, I think I am going to finish this vlog here because we have, it's basically been a big old unboxing video, and I hope that's okay with you guys. All the new in pieces, new things I'm trying, and I will keep you updated on my hair journey with this new style I always feel like whenever you get a new style you've just got to kind of test the waters again get used to it again but I'm really excited I feel like I am really trying to do different things with my hair at the moment and just have a bit more fun with it I feel like it can be really easy to get very samey with it do the same hairstyle stick to the same routine but it's so nice to try something a little bit different so I think I'm gonna head downstairs I've got lots of editing to catch up on and lots of emails that I need to go through so I think I'm gonna sit downstairs and bask in the evening at sunlight I mean look at that it is just so so gorgeous so I really hope you guys enjoy the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and you haven't hit the subscribe button already i'd absolutely love it if you hit it now you can tell how tired i am it's the end of the day with just <laughs> I'm struggling with my speech and my eyes. It's always in my eyes that you can see it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.